Welcome to the place where Hollywood's elite and the paranormal intersect. The Chateau Marmont is a luxurious hotel with a dark and mysterious past. There is no question that the Chateau is a well-known landmark, but it is important to note that it is not a typical type of hotel. People that are part of the Hollywood tribe typically have a fondness for the Chateau. They are drawn to it because of its long history, the worn-in look of its furnishings, and the feeling of privacy that covers every nook and cranny. For nearly a century, the Chateau Marmont has been the playground of Hollywood's elite. From the golden age of Hollywood to the present day, the hotel has played host to some of the biggest names in show business. But behind the glitz and glamour lies a darker side to the Chateau Marmont, a side that is steeped in tragedy, heartbreak, and ghostly encounters. Today we will reveal the truth about the hauntings of Chateau Marmont, the most notorious incidents that have occurred at the hotel, including the tragic deaths of guests like John Belushi and Helmut Newton, and the ghostly encounters reported by guests and staff. But remember, some secrets are better left buried. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Let's get moving. The Chateau Marmont, an opulent mansion off the Sunset Strip that was transformed into a hotel in the 1930s, is a popular haven for A-listers. It has served as the backdrop for many celebrities' breakdowns, affairs, and drunken antics, including Britney Spears and Jim Morrison. The actor John Belushi, known for his roles in the films The Blues Brothers and Animal House, checked into bungalow number three in March of 1982. Bill Wallace, who works as Belushi's fitness trainer and part-time security, visited the actor's bungalow on March 5 to hand, deliver a typewriter and a tape recorder. Instead, he discovered Belushi's lifeless body at the scene of the crime. After dealing with substance misuse for a number of years, Belushi ultimately gave in to his addiction and passed away as a result of an overdose on a combination of cocaine, heroin, and another drug that is collectively referred to as a speedball. He was only 33 years old at the time. Fans from all around the world were saddened by the news of the young actor's untimely death, which had sent Hollywood into a state of shock. Since John Belushi enjoyed himself here so much in life, it is only natural that he would return for a visit in the afterlife. Many claim unexplainable things happen at Bungalow No. 3. The location of his 1982 death by overdose. And there are many who insist Belushi never left the premises. In point of fact, comedian-turned-politician Al Franken claims that he once had a meeting with his departed friend at the Marmot. Franken, who is a skeptic himself, claims that he came to the Chateau a week after Belushi's death and stayed in the same bungalow as Belushi did. Late in the evening, after having a restless night of sleep, he awoke to find the spectral figure of John Belushi towering over him. John, he yelled while blinking his eyes. However, by the time he was able to put his glasses on, John was already gone. The most unsettling account involves a toddler who was a guest there in 1999 with his family. The story goes that his parents would overhear him giggling to himself on the travel channel. When they finally worked up the courage to ask him, he referred to the funny man as the culprit. The kid then pointed to John Belushi and screamed, the funny man, as his mother flipped through a book listing the famous people who had been at the Chateau Marmont. On January 3, 2004, Belushi was accompanied by the presence of another well-known ghost. Helmut Newton, a well-known German-American photographer, was returning to the hotel when he suddenly lost control of his Cadillac and crashed into the wall of the driveway. Instantaneously, he met his end. Many people believe that, much like Belushi, Newton made the decision to remain in the industry. Long-term visitors to the hotel say to have seen a man who, remarkably like Newton, wandering around by the bungalows looking dizzy and confused and occasionally bleeding. Others have reported hearing what they believe to be the click of a camera near the pool. Surprisingly, several visitors have reported hearing laughter and glasses being clinked together late at night. But when security personnel were dispatched to check, they found no one in the area. It's possible that it was simply Belushi and Newton who were making the most of their prolonged stay at the Chateau. And that concludes our journey into the haunted halls of Chateau Marmont. We hope you enjoyed learning about the ghostly encounters and tragic incidents that have occurred at this iconic hotel. We want to know your thoughts on the hauntings of Chateau Marmont. Do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever had a paranormal experience? Have you ever stayed in the Chateau Marmont? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. And also, if you're curious about experiencing the hauntings yourself, you can book a stay at the Chateau Marmot and see for yourself. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on our next spooky adventure. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye.